Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Libra December 9, 2022. The full moon occurring today aligns with retrograde Mars, and can awaken a need to reorganize your finances, or it may stir up feelings about a past relationship. Intimate matters or power dynamics in close relationships may come to a head. Emotional energy is intense, so keep your wits about you. Avoid guilt over past oversights or mistakes. Recognize what is worthwhile and what you can put on a shelf. Today's influences spotlight opposing forces related to money, possessions, debts, trust, and ownership, ultimately leading to beneficial changes or realizations. Aim to take a lesson from any issues that become inflamed now, such as by turning your attention to better money management. Make important decisions later, but pay close attention to the drives and desires stirred today for best results. A moody, passionate full moon is shimmering in the heavens today. Its energy will linger onward for the rest of the week. As she ignites your solar eighth house, you will be encouraged to dig deep into your desires and your personal relationships. You may even feel a laser focus on your relationships, assessing where you stand concerning intimacy and sexuality. For couples, this is a great time to get hot and bothered, pushing up close both physically and spiritually. Singles can use this lunation to truly consider what a partner should bring to the table and how they can do the inner work to prepare for it. What do power and control mean to you now? The past six months have been revealing as you have undergone quite a mental and communication transformation during this lunar chapter. You may have had to outsmart some of your colleagues or work extra hard to be flexible to new opportunities that could have been financially empowering. Now that the full moon in Gemini is here to end this cycle, it is time to let go of any entanglements or debts while also focusing on unscrambling your mind to have a clear perception of what you need to do moving forward. Things are looking good where finances are concerned. Every transaction is running well and the usual struggles and competitiveness become unnecessary. Use this quiet phase to find out about new investments. You should really make the effort, because things are running smoothly now, and you'll soon have new ideas. Don't be content to rest on your laurels or you might regret it later. Experimentation is a fun activity for most of us. Sometimes it's even necessary to curb the tendency to try too many new things. For instance, if you are going to try a new food, be sure you also prepare, or order, something you know you will like that is also nutritious. Taking care of your own diet is like managing the diet of a child, you must be responsible and loving. Experiment with finding more ways that you can be loving to yourself. Even you need to slow down and take a little time off. With the essence of a quiet, contemplative day, this may be the perfect time for it. Even if you have a full day of work ahead of you, there is time throughout the day and in the evening to make some plans for leisure. When you begin to feel tired and less able to handle the daily stresses you face, this is your cue to slow down. Listen to your body's messages. Today's full moon might fall in your financial sector but as not only the moon but Mars as well clashes with the sun in your income sector, this is going to engage both sides of the financial fence. This is something that could create some financial tension and some strong emotional and passionate responses, but as well as adding fuel to Mars' financial passions and fighting spirit this can lead to a breakthrough for both income and money matters. Fortunately, Mercury's departure from your financial sector yesterday has left you with a smart head for money. Thanks to the moon's departure from your relationship sector yesterday you are not only more emotionally engaged but you have something to work with as Mercury, the planet of communication spends his first full day in your communication sector. Two days before Venus will begin her mission to give your heart and your relationships a voice you already have a head start. Our eyes in the sky. The full moon in Gemini is helping us find solutions to our problems right now, but we could have issues figuring out how to make things click. Good ideas could clash with confusion, creating frustration and irritation. Try not to be overly critical of others or yourself right now, and try to avoid giving any unsolicited advice. In the afternoon, 
your inner perfectionist could come out, and not in the best way. Remember to take things slowly and focus on your breath if you begin to feel overwhelmed by details. There is a need to be aware that today's full moon in your financial sector could come with some financial tension and some of your emotional responses might be out of proportion. Behind the emotional fog of war is a clash between the moon and mercury in your financial sector and the sun in your income sector and the chance this brings to energize both sides of the financial fence. There are many aspects that need to be faced in order to successfully navigate this evening's cosmic climate. Themes around your goals and fantasies, self-awareness, critical thinking, and organization all commingle. The moon is not only still in your financial sector after yesterday's full moon but there could be just as much tension between both sides of the financial fence. While the moon is no longer clashed with the sun, before leaving it will clash with Venus, in her last full day in your income sector. At the same time that Mars is using this to fuel your financial passions and fighting spirit, as the planet of money Venus knows how to turn financial tension into motivation. When Mars retrograde opposes the Sun, the universe is asking you to meld your dreams with reality in a way that is well thought out and pragmatic. The energy here gives us a rare opportunity to see where change needs to be implemented, but you must overcome your ego in order to see the path ahead. Don't let stubborn ways of thinking or arrogance stop you from seeing your way. In the pre-dawn hours, Ceres in Virgo squares off with Venus in Sagittarius, creating tension between how we give and receive love. Our upbringing or early life conditioning may have taught us that the best way to nurture others is by cleaning up their messes. Our parents might have sought to organize our lives as a mode of care. Equally, they may have been disposed to fault-finding, subtly critiquing our choices and suggesting how to better ourselves. Yet, the love we want to receive is quite different. We want our loved ones to trust us, granting us freedom of movement and allowing us space to make mistakes and learn from them. Today's series Venus Square can cause us to police our partners, with good intentions. Having grown accustomed to subtle criticism, it feels safe to us. However, to tackle this dynamic, we must release the compulsion to offer unsolicited advice. We must let our partners be the messy, unpredictable people we fell for in the first place. We are not our partner's parents, and we shouldn't try to be. Professionally you've everything going for you. If you encounter something unexpected, refrain from making any hasty decisions, actually what is needed is calmness and patience, separate the important from the unimportant, bring about an adequate solution. Maybe consider a more unconventional approach. Around dawn, the Sagittarius Sun squares off with Juno in Pisces, further exacerbating relational tensions. Our very sense of self seems to be at odds with who we present ourselves to be in committed partnerships. Indeed, we might have agreed to be in a relationship when we were an entirely different person, and we have grown in a direction that is contrary to the vows we made to another. We now have a choice to make, do we stick it out? clearly address the disconnect, and commit to changing our contract to suit both our own and our partner's needs? Or do we decide to explore our own path? This is not necessarily an aspect of breakups, but it portends a reckoning that necessitates changes within a static partnership dynamic. 